Now Now Brown Cow. They are racing around. We have got a whopping 45 seconds to do this. Holy cow, it's loud. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to Spools and Pools. I'm Patrick, and behind the camera is Sage. We're here at the 2023 Music City Grand Prix in Nashville. They've got the IndyCar races going, super trucks on the ramps, GT America's doing their thing, Toyota GR Cup, drunk bachelorettes are running around getting mimosas. Really cool, really cool event. Everyone should make it here if you can. I think Pato Awards over there, I'm gonna go talk to him. And we're making a beeline. We're making a beeline. Award, 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 award. I'm your biggest fan. How many podiums are you going to take today? Uh, well, probably just one since there's only one race. Uh, what's your favorite racing team and uh, why is it McLaren? Um, I just like Award. I got into them from Formula One, so I just carried over to IndyCar. I mean, I love the McLaren orange, uh, the papaya spark. Is that your favorite color? Um, no, but here it is. What's your favorite color? I guess blue. I don't know. All right, we'll overdub it and we'll make it look like you're saying orange. <laughs> you know, it's 10.30, 10.30 a.m. I think it's time we go home. We've got everything we need. I mean, day one was so intense that we might as well just call it. Let's go get drunk. Let's go find some drunk bachelorettes. I may have found some already. <laughs> hey, sir, are you down to interview? Uh, no. Have a good one. I see a McLaren shirt. I see a McLaren shirt. What's your favorite racing team? IndyCar. In, uh, you know, the world. Oh, we'll go with McLaren then. It's got to be McLaren. Okay, are you rooting for McLaren here in the IndyCar series? I am because I got a couple money on them today, so yeah. You got some money? We do. We both have $20 on them, so. By $20, you mean like 20 grand, right? Oh, well, man, we're just in college, so we're not doing that, so. All right, what college are you attending? MTSU. We got a pilot right here, too, so. Were you the one that was in the helicopter the other night? Oh, man, I wish it was, though. I wish it was. Okay, secretly, it really was him. He just can't tell us, so. I, I know how this works, so that's cool. Are you guys here all weekend, or are you doing a one-day thing? Well, we were here Friday, so, yeah, we were here Friday. Came down to Nash a little bit. We live in Murfreesboro. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um... <laughs> But then again, you know, being around all the drunk bachelorettes around here, maybe it's not too much better, but maybe it is better. Well, last question, what's your uh, most favorite exciting thing that you're looking forward to today? You know, so we've never been to IndyCar before, so um, we're honestly, I've always enjoyed like the sounds of IndyCar, so that's what we're looking forward to today. So. Can you give me your best IndyCar exhaust impersonation right now? <sighs> that was a turbo sound. Yeah, that was. Uh... I, I don't know, to be honest. For $20, and I actually, for for 20 imaginary dollars, give me your best. <laughs> Sage is rich as hell. Okay, okay, let's stand still for a second, okay? Lightning round. <laughs> Two guys from Murphy's Bro go head to head on the, doing the best indie car impersonation they can. The winner gets $20 cold hard cash, not Bitcoin, because that's plummeting. And go! <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. Next round. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Crowd reaction over here? What was it? Thumbs up? All right. I think we might have a winner unless you want a second shot. No, no. That's it. <laughs> All right. 20 bucks. Cold hard cash, straight USD American, the good stuff. It's 10 bucks. All right, have a good one. Enjoy, enjoy the trip.
right, I found someone. I'm honing in. I'm honing in. I'm honing in. I'm honing in. What is your favorite team, and why is it McLaren? Uh, because I watch F1 and it's Lando Norris. What's uh, F1? <laughs> Formula One. It's the better version of IndyCar. Oh, is Formula One, um, so I watch a lot of Formula Drift, so is like F1 the spin-off of Formula Drift? Uh, Formula Drift would be just something completely different. <laughs> That's debatable. I mean, you know, I mean, have you seen the Indy cars out here? I mean, especially when it's raining. Oh, yeah, that's true. They do wreck a lot. <laughs> Are you here all weekend? Is this your first day? How, what, what do you got planned? Uh, this would be the third day that we're here. And if, uh, you know, you could hijack one of the cars and turn it into a pedal tavern and get drunk bachelorettes on board, <laughs> what car would you steal? Uh, borrow. Yeah, borrow. With consent. Yeah, absolutely, with consent. Pretty much anything at, at this point. Uh, just anything that's that's going to get me a, a bachelorette party in there. Probably only fits like one or two, though. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Are you cool with him getting a bunch of drunk bachelorettes together, breaking into cars, showing up on Scoop Nashville? It's, Na it's Nashville. It's like Flo Rida said at the concert last night. What, stays, <laughs> what happens in Nashville stays in Nashville. True. And uh, yeah, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Uh, you know, quick question though, for zero dollars, um, give me your best McLaren IndyCar exhaust impersonation. Oh, I don't even know. It's just, uh, pa, 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 and when they go over the bridge. That's pretty aggressive. That's pretty aggressive. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now for you, lightning round, give me your best Toyota Prius impersonation. Accurate! <laughs> Nothing! Accurate. All right. Hey, enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right. Thank you for taking the time. These guys look jolly right here, so we're going to get them. Hello, gentlemen. How are you all doing today? What's the event you guys are here for today? The Indy, Indy race. What's the most exciting thing about the Indy races? The first turn. Yeah, the first turn is, is absolutely brutal, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Ab absolutely. So who's, who are you guys rooting for? Yeah, heard us. Sorry, heard us. So, are you are you guys gonna stay for the whole day today? Probably. Yeah, we gotta see the trucks. Yeah. Again. Oh, the trucks after. The trucks are always fun. The jumps are amazing. Should the, should they have bigger jumps? Uh, bigger is always. <laughs> ab 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 absolutely. Do your best indie car impression for me. Best indie car. Best indie car impression. They're loud. You got it. Oh, and he breaks in the turn in the turn one, and he hits the wall, and there's a. Four, four car pile up. Oh! <laughs> he, he wants ca he wants chaos, obviously. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a good day. Cowboy hat. Get over here for an interview right now. Oh my God! Did I just intimidate him? I intimidated this guy? <laughs> no, probably not. He, that that was a pity intimidation. But yeah. Hey, so are you here this whole weekend? Uh, no, I'm only here for today. We have one of our cars being shown out at work for, for Karma Performance. Okay. Okay. What car is being shown? Uh, 2016 Viper and a 2018 Ferrari 488 GTB. If only you guys could see the reaction on Sage's face right now. <laughs> so tell us about those cars. Uh, let's see. We're working on a pretty big package for the 5th Gen Viper, and the 48 GTB also has a bunch of modifications we put on. So we're a one-stop shop for all your speed needs here in Nashville. Dyno tuning, performance packages, superchargers, turbochargers, that's what we do. So I uh, drop that car off at 6 a.m., and I'm ready to actually do something fun for the rest of the day. Very cool. And is the uh, Ferrari red? It is pink. I'm uh I'm looking for a for a baddie around here. Daddy? Yeah, would you be my wingman? When you're looking at one. Female baddie. You gotta be more specific. Yeah, I'm looking for someone that's like uh, you know girls just wanna F1 kind of you know vibes. Okay, I think you should turn this into a crop top. You could probably find one. You know, as long as long as there's some girls that would like dig the Polish hair. You know what I mean? Look, I wear crop tops almost every day except when I'm representing the company, so I think it's time you do it too. All right. Hey, what was the name of the company again? One more time. Karma Performance. Do you want to do one guest interview with us before you go in? Yeah, before you go in. Like you interview one random person. I mean, I'm, I'm presenting it like you have a choice, but really. I need to get rid of the Do you have... Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. All right, everything's rolling. Just pick a random person. What if I pick you? Not gonna happen. It has to be a random person. You got it. All right, let's see. Who are we gonna interview? This person right here. You want to interview? Right I'm a random here. guy interviewing Get random people. Here. What's up, man? How's it going with you? I'm Spencer. What's your name? Will. Hi, Will. What are you doing here today? Oh, I'm watching the races. Are you sure? I hope so. Oh, well, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good hope. What are you wearing there? Oh, this is a Leclerc jersey. Nice. Who's Leclerc? Charles Leclerc. From one racer. Okay, that's pretty cool, man. What do you? Uh, are you a car guy? Yeah. What kind of car do you drive? Uh, BMW. BMW. Okay, that's pretty not specific. What do you drive? 330i. Okay, is it tuned up? No. 
You have a stock BMW 330i? Yeah. Do you just not like making big power? I mean, I do. But Why don't you make some big power? It's expensive. No, it's not. Are your feet good looking? I don't know about that. You, show your, you can show. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not showing my feet. But you could take pictures online and get your car tuned up. Okay. Yeah, you're That's right. That's what I'm you're saying. Right. A little feet finder action. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay. If you want it bad enough, you'll do it. Who are y'all? What are y'all doing? I, they told me I got to interview some random person, so I'm interviewing you, partner. All right. <laughs> for free. He said for free. For free. Okay. He said for free. I don't get any royalties from this. I, you know, maybe on your fee finder thing when you when you start that up to make your BMW fast. All right. I think we're done. <laughs> See you later. You're done when we say you're done. <laughs>
<laughs> that might be a little bit much. That would be fun to watch, but I think it might make the race kind of short, right? Are you working with the Bucky's racing team? No, I'm not. Do you wish there was a Bucky's racing team? Absolutely. How much more gear would you buy of Bucky's swag if they had a racing team? All the swag. All the swag. Well, you know what's awesome is we are Spools and Pools, and we are sponsored by Bucky's. Awesome. Just kidding. We're not. We have no sponsors. Bucky, sponsor us, please. We love Bucky's. Bucky, what do you have to say? <laughs> Sir, what's it like to be the checkered flag? I don't know, man. This is just a rugby jersey. Oh my God, that's a that's a totally different sport. Well, you know, you know how it works in most sports. They reference other ones. If there's one thing or ten things that you would change about this course structurally, what would you change? Well, it's just it's a bit narrow. So now they're changing it. You know, going through Broadway and all that. No, I think it's oversimplifying the course. True. You know, personally, I love the trucks. I would leave the ramps on the course when the indie cars go out. Would you agree? Yeah, but then again, it's gonna end up like burnout. <laughs> I mean, doesn't it already when it starts raining anyways, especially on turn nine? Well, yeah, if they're good. Well, hey, I hope you have a good weekend. Enjoy the races, all right? Here we are at the end of day three of the Music City Grand Prix. We had a blast going behind the scenes in the paddock area as well as up close and personal with all the Indy cars and GT cars. Zooming past and all the super trucks going over the hills and ramps and, you know, you know, tires flinging everywhere and like a couple people were like, whoa, and it was crazy. And there was like an Indy car and it like hit the wall and it was like, Kush! and it's just crazy stuff going on. There was like drunk bachelorettes and they're like, eh, mimosas, mimosas. And it was a great event. Really looking forward to the next IndyCar event on the schedule, as well as next year's Music City Grand Prix. Personally, this is my third, uh, and it's always a blast here in Nashville. Again, we are Spools and Pools. I'm Patrick, and Sage is behind the camera here. The whole channel is just the two of us having a ton of fun making automotive content and trying to do it as cinematic and as possible with really good audio, uh, as you can hear right now. Blah, 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 blah. If you enjoyed the video, click like. If you want to make fun of how I say Grand Prix, because I don't care that I'm saying it wrong, make fun of me in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, we are doing new features every week and original shorts daily. Always a good time around here. Thanks for joining. A uh, Goodbye. We're trying to find interviewees. And look at this fine gentleman right here. He looks like he'd be a great interviewee. Hello, sir. How's it going? Do your best IndyCar impression. Hmm. You're putting me on the spot here. You got it. I think they, they have a high note, kind of like... I'll do it for you. Bachelorettes are overrunning the city. So three Indy cars were taken hostage by drunk bachelorettes. All right.